In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a nicely styled homepage for our contacts database. And this will give us a listing of our contacts in alphabetical order with the option of going in and editing or deleting them. So for example, this is what we're going to be shooting for. It will grab a list of the people from the contacts database, give us a button for deleting it or a button for editing it, and then also show us their image and other information. So this is going to be the index page or the starting page for the database. So once the user has logged in, this is what they will be able to see. So we're going to set up this index page. And I'm going to begin by going into my editor and creating a new file called index.php. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my opening PHP tag. And I'm going to put in the closing one. And we are going, to, the first thing we're going to need to do is to require our DB info script because we're going to connect to the database right away. We're going to connect to the database and get a listing of all of the records in the contacts database. So we're going to create an SQL statement to select everything from the contacts table. So we'll say SQL equals select star, which is everything from contacts. And we should put them in order. So we'll put them in alphabetical order. So we'll say uh, order by last in ascending order. So again, what's inside the double quotes here is SQL. Then we need to actually execute that SQL statement. So we'll use PHP for that. We'll say result equals MySQL query. And what the query is that we want to execute, our SQL statement. And that needs to connect to our database. And if it doesn't, we want it to die. And if it does die, we want to get the MySQL error from it. And let's set up a variable for our page title. So we'll just start with a generic My Contacts database. And then we want our navigation menu. So I'm going to choose to include the header PHP file. And then we're going to print out some the information from our results. I'm going to paste that in because it's a bit of typing. So it's just uh, going to print out My Contacts, select a record to edit or delete or to add a new contact. So that'll take us to the add by form PHP file that we created in a separate video. Next, we need to connect to the database, right? We've created the SQL query and we're gonna get the results out and display them on the page. I'm gonna paste in the beginning part of a while loop. And so what we have here is while the row, MySQL fetch array. We're executing the query on our database, and it's going to take that information, the result of that query, and put it into this result variable. So now what we're going to do is, it's an array. It's going to return a list of things. Even though it may be one result, we don't know. It could be hundreds. So we're going to use the MySQL fetch array method on our SQL result. And so it's going to loop through while there's still stuff in this result. For each row, we're going to get the ID, the email, the first, last, phone, and image information. And still, while we're in this loop, we're going to do a little bit more with the image. We're going to assign a variable to our image name. We're going to call it file name and that's going to be equal to our image from our result and it's going to be the part of the string is the images folder that contains the images and now we're going to check to see if this file name exists if it's there because maybe somebody didn't upload an image to go along with the contact and if that's the case then we're going to use just a blank image so it doesn't look like we have a broken image. We'll just have a placeholder for an image. 
So we're going to check to see if there's a file there for the picture. And so we'll use if no file exists called our images folder and then the image name. So if it's not there, then we're going to set the file name to a blank .gif image that's there. Now we can print out the results, right? We still have this while loop. So while this is all going on, it's getting the information, the result from our query to the database. It's checking to see if there's a file there that exists. And then we're also going to have it print out each of the records. So let me paste that code in. So we've got a bunch of form tags here. We've got one and then there's another one here. So why do we have these? Let me go back and show you what our end result is going to be. Right, our end result is going to have a delete button or an edit button. So in order to use these kinds of buttons, we have to have them inside form tags. So we have one where it's, this is the delete button. So when it's deleted, it's going to go to the confirm delete PHP file, which we haven't created yet. It, this will be in a different video. So if you're watching these in order that they're posted, uh, the confirm delete script will come later. We're also going to pass in to that script a hidden form field that contains the ID. Right? It's always important. We got the ID for our contact. And then this makes me realize that this should be contact ID. Right, because our field name is called contact ID. So our variable can stay as ID because when it gets it, it will be assigned to that. And the edit works in a similar format. It's going to go to an, a PHP script called update form. And it's going to send the ID of the record that we've selected to that update form. So we're passing this information from these buttons to these other two scripts that are created and addressed in other videos. So once we've created those buttons, then the next thing we're doing in our layout is we're putting in the image and putting in their name and their phone number and email. We even made a little link here to make the email address a working hyperlink for mail too. So I'm going to save this and upload it to my server and then we can test it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to click on my link that will take me to my index page. Uh, the image here is really sized way too big, so I'll have to fix that by resizing my image and uploading it again. There's also some PHP scripts that you can use to resize the image as it's being uploaded, but that will be a topic for a future video. So I'm going to resize this image and upload it so that we'll get the better effect of what it looks like. Let's see, that's better, much better. So as we add more contacts into the database, then we will have more displayed in here, but you've got the idea that it's going out, selecting everything from the contacts table and displaying them in this format so that we can then later on edit them or delete them directly from the home page.